Hi, and welcome to C-Sharp Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to do a addition calculator using Windows Forms in Visual Studio. So let's jump to Visual Studio and start to do our addition calculator. So in Visual Studio, we're going to create a new project. We're going to do a Windows Form application, but if you don't have that in your recents already, you can search for Windows Forms under C Sharp. You will see Windows Forms app in the .NET framework. It's C Sharp Windows and it's a desktop application. So we're going to click on that and we're going to say next. We're going to call this our addition calculator and we're going to save this in our documents under Visual Studio projects. I'm going to select that folder for addition calculator so we're going to say create it's going to create then the addition calculator windows form application for us and then if everything's ready windows uh, visual studio will open this for us so this is our windows form application this is our form this is what the user will see okay so let's start by grabbing a label so we select the label and we're going to put the label there at the top right top left corner um, we're going to have this label and i'm going to style this label and i'm going to say the text must be um, addition calculator so in the properties pane at text i'm going to change the text of this label to addition calculator i'm going to make the font 18 and bold true so now we've got addition calculator very big there for us then what we're going to have is i'm going to have two label extra label components so the first label text which will be input one and I'm going to copy and paste this and then have a input two label. So then we have input one and input two. I'm going to use the text box um, control element and I'm going to place one there. If you double click on it as well, that's a different way of placing it. I've got two text boxes, one text box one, text box two. And then I'm going to have an extra label here and I'm going to put it right in the middle. Let's see, that's the middle. Yep. And I'm going to make the text a, just a plus sign, just so that the user can see that we're going to add these two values. So what I will do is I'm just going to drag this a little bit lower so that it looks nice and pretty. Your design is very important. So that will guide the user to do the exact same thing or the exact things that you wanted to do. So your design is very important. So now we're going to use a button element and I'm going to draw the button element here. I'm going to change the text of the button element to calculate, calculate, great. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this form, I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to add my last label. The last label, it's going to be nothing. Okay, but the output, it's going to be of size 14. Okay, so we've got our label there. Perfect. So we've got our layout. We've got addition calculator, input one, text box, text box, calc button, and then a label. But now we need to quickly check what's the names of the elements that we're going to interact with. Now, addition calculator, input one, and input two, it's only just for show so we're not going to actually work with these and change the values of these labels in our coding so we're going to use calculator the calculate 
button, we're going to use that. We're going to use the two text boxes and we're going to use this label. So what I would suggest is to give these um, text boxes specific names. So let's go down to um, design and you will see text box one, but let's call it text box input one. Okay, and this one I will call text box input two. Okay, and this button I'm going to call button calculate, button calculate, and this label, okay, this one there that we deleted all the text. This one I will call label output, label output. So now we've got a text box input one, a text box input two, we've got a button that's called button calculate and we've got a label there, this label there, and this label is called label output. So we've got a design and we named all the components that we're going to interact with in coding. So now what we can do is we can click on button and we can go and double click on button. And this will open the coding for us, the C sharp coding, and it will create a click event function for us. Button calculate click no, event. So what we will do in this function is we're going to grab the input from the two edit boxes and then we're going to do the addition and the output in this function. So the two text boxes here and it's in the name text. The user will enter text. We're going to assume the user is going to enter numbers, but it's still text. So what we need to do is we need to go and convert that text to a number unit, for instance, int or decimal. So what I will do is I'm going to create two variables of type decimal, and I'm going to call this input one and decimal input two. Now we can do this all in line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say input one will have the value of text box input one. But text box input one is text. So let's f first do the text box. So we will say text box input one dot text. But this is text and this variable is decimal. So we need to go and convert this um, text box input one dot text to decimal. So how do we do this? And C sharp has a building function called convert. And we just say convert dot. And you can press control spacebar and it will show you all the stuff that you can do with the convert function. So convert dot two decimal. So we're going to say two decimal and we're going to put the text box input one dot text as a parameter to this convert to decimal function. So it will convert this text to decimal for us. And we can do the same for text box input two. So what we will say, we will start with convert to decimal two decimal and it's a function so we're going to say text box input to dot text must be converted to decimal for us and that will be stored inside input one and input two and then what we can go and do now is we can say label and our label output label output dot text will be equal to input one plus input two are two variables that we created but input one and input two is decimal so we can do the actual addition calculator but we need to convert now this back to text so that we can display it in this label. So what do we need to do is we use the convert function again and we say to string, sorry, to string. So we're going to convert input one plus input two 
the sum of these two we're going to convert to string and we're going to store that inside label output and there we have it that's all that we need to go and do so let's go back so input text um, this text box or a yeah, text box input one plus text box input two we convert this to decimal we convert this to decimal we do the addition and we convert it to string back again and we display it if we click on this button so let's start our application and see if our program works as expected so we've got addition calculator input one input two and i'm going to say five plus seven and if i press calculate it needs to show us 12. so we can quickly do um, an extra on this and we can say the answer is and then what we can do is oops the answer is convert to string input one input two so now if we save this and we run it again what we will see now is if we say five plus nine will give you 14 we say the answer is 14 or what we can do is we can do the following and we can say Uh, let's say text box text plus plus text box text sorry plus and we say equal sign and then plus again so what we're effectively doing here is we're going to say the first value plus the second value is equal to this so if we save this and build and run again what we will see now and this is just different ways of output and if we say 4 plus 3 calculate 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so this is different ways of doing the output great so that's our addition calculator I hope you understand that with the text box we enter text we need to convert that text to a number value for instance decimal to do the actual calculation and give the result to the user but the result the addition we need to convert back to string so that we can go and display it inside a label so that's all from me thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon